Alright guys, I don't normally do too many uh, tool reviews, but I am going to do a review on this uh, Caltech 3 8 click type torque wrench that I've purchased at a flea market. And at the same time, not really a review, but just a comparison against this Pittsburgh half inch drive torque wrench that Harbor Freight sells. Now I've had the half inch torque wrench for a while. I've used it several times. It seems fairly accurate compared to the Max and Matcos and whatnot that I've used at work. Now this one, it says uh, $27 on the uh, sticker price there, but that's not what I paid for it. I paid about $18 for it. And had never heard how or heard of how to, Caltech, Cal Hawk, whatever it is, before, and used it earlier on an intake manifold to uh, torque a couple of bolts to 35 foot-pounds. Uh, not because I couldn't have used this one, but just because I want to try this one out. This one's in inch-pounds. Doing the math, you know, 35 times 12. Got me to 420 what I needed. And as you'll see here, I don't know if you can really see the graduations or not, but I have this one set at 20 foot-pounds. So basically it's set at 240 inch pounds. So if you give me a second just to get it chucked up in my vise here. I want you to take notice of something. I am lifting my table up off of the ground with this thing and it's not clicking at all okay in comparison I have this one also set 20 foot pounds again can't really read the uh, graduations on it but let me get this one chucked up and I'll show you why the cowhawk is a piece of junk in my opinion hang on a second Okay, so I've got this one chucked up, and if you'll notice, I'm holding it right about the same location that this one is, lengthwise. So the length isn't going to make it click any faster. So 20 foot-pounds. Now it moves my table a little bit, but you do get a click. The cowhawk never clicked. Repetitively. Calhawk never clicked. So that being said, as I already stated, this one's a big hunk of junk. Basically what I bought was a fancy ratchet. And probably not even a good ratchet at that. Uh, I, that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm not going to trust it as a torque wrench by any means. And I'm going to go ahead and give Harbor Freight a call or stop from one of their stores and get one of their 3H drive uh, torque click types. Worth the money. I've compared them to Craftsman. I uh, haven't done a video on one yet, but I did. I used to have an old Craftsman one that I thought was going out. And there's videos on YouTube that will show you how to calibrate these things by chucking them in a vise, hanging a certain amount of weight off of them to get whatever your torque setting is that you're trying to go for and make sure it's clicking within the range that it's supposed to. I've compared a Harbor Freight one to a Craftsman, haven't ever compared it to one of the Matcos or anything like that, but I've had this one for several years and it seems to be working just fine. Anytime you're torquing something, just like everything else, anytime you tighten a bolt, don't torque them dry and if it doesn't feel right, stop. Using this one, it didn't feel right, so I stopped and come in here and compared it to my half inch drive and basically figured out this one's junk. It could come with a handy little uh, case, but still junk. Alrighty, stay tuned.